welcome back to my channel and if you are new here hi my name is carol tichi karibu <laughs> now in today's video you know you guys i wasn't about to wash my hair and leave you guys without a straight hair tutorial mm -hmm. <laughs> so this hairdo is like a pin and tuck kind of hairstyle well, we can say a little bit of like flash twisting, but not really. <laughs> so it's a roll, pin and tuck, updo hairstyle. Mm -hmm. It's super retro, if you ask me. <laughs> so vintage. <laughs> but yes, I'm just trying to give you variety, guys. Guys, hit that thumbs up button because I'm giving you variety. Okay. <laughs> now, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. It's a quick one with it. So let's get into it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hi guys, so this is what we're starting off with. My hair has already started to shrink up. High porosity hair problems. <laughs> but I love my hair. So I'm just doing light finger detangling as I prep my hair for this hairstyle. So since my hair has already been put down the middle, because that should be your first step, next step is to separate the bangs. I just do like a U-shape or a horseshoe shape to section out the bangs. Now this parting doesn't have to be perfect, so don't beat yourself up. Just make sure that you are having defined sections does it have to be perfect you guys can see I'm using my fingers to section off the part so you can also use your fingers you don't need to use a rat tail comb now that's done and this is what we are working with You can see at the back the parting is not perfect but I'm giving you that old school YouTube where parts were not perfect. <laughs> Next, it's to roll and tuck. Roll and tuck. You can use bobby pins halfway if your hair is super thick. For me, I found that that would have been helpful even though my hair is not as thick. So that's just a point. Um, a tip for you yes a tip <laughs> so when i finished rolling and tucking on my crown area i did secure it with a bobby pin and you saw how i utilized that bobby pin i made sure that one part is on my hair that is laying flat and the other part is in the actual roll so that you secure the hair <laughs> So on this section, I do the exact same thing. My OCD kind of wished that I had done a smooth, clean part, but either way, we move, yeah? <laughs> so at some point, I felt like I was doing the second one better than I did the first one until I let it loose at some point. And you can see it has just gotten loose. So rolling and tucking and then pinning in the middle and then pinning at the end that tip you need to take it seriously because <laughs> i ended up removing this hairstyle and redoing it in a different way that you'll see later on now moving on to the bangs now this was a learning curve as well so i wanted to show you guys how i did it how i struggled so that you don't feel like Struggling is not part of the process. It is part of the process, okay? So first off is to twist down the hair. Loosely twist it because you want it to still have volume at the, at the roots. But you go tight towards the end to secure your ends. And to make it easy for you to bobby pin it. So, yes. 
now how you choose to tuck your pompadour is totally up to you let your creativity come into play your face shape your results your outcome like how you want it to cover your face do you want it less do you want it more play around with it until you get the look that you're going for Now, this is not the look that I settled for, but it is definitely a look to look into in the future, okay? <laughs> so, this is also another option, like the possibilities are endless, okay? So at this point, I felt like my vision, what I was going for was coming together, okay? <laughs> so you can see the struggle, the pinning, the untucking, the tucking, you know? <laughs> so when you're doing it, don't feel like, oh my God, I, I'm struggling, yet Tichi was doing it flawlessly. No, we edit these parts. So I left it in so that I can show you guys the process. So I ended up redoing this hairstyle because I felt like the back was not secured enough. It was too poofy. So I settled for flat twist and what started off as a roll, pin and tuck ended up being a flat twist updo. So let me show you guys how I did it. I just went slowly but surely sectioning my hair using my pointer finger to make those distinct parts it looks like a stitch braid but not really you get what i mean <laughs> and slowly flat twisting up so my tip when it comes to flat twisting is make sure one hand holds the hair taut while the other hand sections and flat twists if you get what i mean like section and tuck under then the other hand secures the flat twist and that's how you end up having a nice and secured and defined flat twist okay make sure that you detangle your hair well prior to starting your flat twist this will help you move faster if you don't, you'll end up stopping to detangle and that will kind of frustrate you and you might end up starting over again. And when I get to my crown, I pin down my hair and proceed to twisting, loosely twisting my bangs. And instead of twisting over, I twist under because it will help me tuck in my ends later on. And just to reiterate what I said before, I'm going to twist under and not over. And now that I have these two chunky twists, I'm going to cross them under and tuck them. Going back in to fluff them out a little bit so that I can get some more volume and let it fall on my face a little bit more. So there's no problem if your first twist falls a little bit higher because the second one is going to come and overlap it. And fall a little bit lower but all this depends on how you want it so again it all depends with your face shape and your preference So 
so i felt like tucking it way up for me was making my pompadour sit way up and i wanted it to fall halfway on my face so i just took it out and secured the ends again <laughs> it's very important and then i ended up tucking it inside the pompadour remember i talked about twisting under and not over it's because you can end up hiding some stuff that you don't want to be seen in this case those are my ends okay <laughs> So once you're done pinning your pompadour, now it's time to play around with it. Tuck here, pull there, pin here until you get your desired look. And for this look, I did not feel like touching my edges, like laying them down. I just let them be. Now this look is not complete without some cute accessories. And I settled for this cute African brass earrings. And I do have a video on where I get my cute elegant yet affordable earrings so i do suggest you go check out that video that is already up on my channel so guys this is the final look mm, 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 mm. i love it love it <laughs> oh you can tell me if you love it in the comment section right <laughs> now this hairstyle you can rock it for a wedding if funeral this hair cell is like if you're going for an event and you're like mm, i have i don't have an idea this is a quick one for you this is forehead girl friendly so if you have your forehead five head girl i feel your pain because i'm team forehead <laughs> so this hairstyle is very forehead girl friendly it looks really elegant and just put together okay <laughs> so guys thank you so much for watching um follow me on all my social media platforms my name is carol tichi across all of my platforms okay and you can stick around and watch one of my other videos okay <laughs> and until the next one guys bye Mwah.